you want to start with the ordinance or however you want to go. Right? Okay, well, um, I'm asking for a favorable consideration of the ordinance before you to authorize the uh, director of public service to move forward with uh, bids for various contracts uh, for uh, paving, for streets, parks, traffic signals, water mains, sanitary, and storm signals, water, construction work. We perform on them in order to provide a safe environment and adequate streets. This is essentially everything the service department does that involves contractors for our, our own work. And this is not unlike the uh, pretty much precisely the same ordinance that was passed last May for the service department, 2019 work. I'll give a brief overview of what uh, we're continuing from last year. So projects, of course, are, are multi-phase and take a number of years to complete in some cases. Others are rather, rather uh, promptly constructed. Uh, we've begun work uh, actually late last year on the 2020 paving program. And uh, we, we have a short list of number of streets that we propose for various forms of, uh, of improvements. Uh, Mellonville, for example, Court Street, we did Mellonville from North Ridge Road to Wilson in 19. We intend in 2020 to pick it up at Wilson and take it to the corporate limit, but you know, near, near Kimberly at the northern part of North Court Street. Uh, another Mellonville proposed is uh, Kingston Pike from the South Corporation line to uh, Main Street, Route 56. Some are double chip, the, the chip seal, others are slurry seal. Uh, we have a couple of full reconstructions uh, that we would like to, to, to begin this year. The first is Cedar Heights Road, which we expect the at least the initial proposed final uh, engineering design from Harold and Stevenson in the coming, coming days, hopefully in a week or so, we'll review that. And then when that's uh, satisfactory, we'll put it out for a bid. Uh, we were awarded last year from the uh, Board of County Commissioners the uh, uh, Community Development Block Grant, CDBG, uh, monies for Turner Drive. Uh, right now, the, uh, it's a county project actually, but it's for the benefit of Circle Bell and we'll receive a project for the county that administers the grant, the CDBG, and will pay the bills and, and have an have a, a administrative role in this. Uh, they're right now in uh, doing the request for qualifications for qualified design professionals. Uh, they've given us a list of five to, uh, to, to rate, to rank. Uh, they'll make their decisions on that and uh, go forward with design engineering. They'll likely be ready for a bid by July or so, mid-summer. Um, we we uh, plan to apply for additional uh, CDBG monies as well, looking at Walnut Street, Logan, South Washington, uh, perhaps Hayward Avenue, Stormwater, uh, whatever we can get together in an application and receive uh, putting in favorable consideration for that. Uh, uh, quickly, we also have a sewer and water rate study underway with Curtis and Eiffel. Um, in 2015, Council received a, uh, a recommendation from the Utilities Department, and it was for 15, 16, and 17, and there hasn't been a rate study since. Uh, we're looking at not only our operating costs, but uh, future capital improvements that we're looking at, the uh, radio meters, uh, improving the uh, water treatment plant, of course a big project for the wastewater treatment plant, uh, development on the east side of town that might require some uh, additional engineering study or some work to make sure we can uh, provide water to that area. Of course that all costs money, so that'll go into the rate study and we expect a deliverable. I, I wanted to have it in March, we just couldn't get that to happen that quickly during the coming couple of months. Um, you've noticed unlikely, or, or, or likely many of you, the traffic signal that water north of Drew has been removed. It was actually struck by an oversized truck. Uh, the, we have witnessed that they didn't get a tag number, but in any event, that put it down temporarily. We've had discussions for some months about the removal of that signal. There's some uh, gridlock at that intersection at, at high traffic times. Um, it uh, was likely the place there for pedestrian traffic and traffic safety when Atwater School was uh, in use, and that hasn't been used for many years. And the plan is to uh, engage in a uh, traffic study for Linden, or, or Clark, uh, I think it's Clark Fairfield, Linden, and North Pickaway Street to look at uh, pedestrian safety there, relocating the traffic uh, control device, the traffic signal to that intersection, and uh, where to place the poles and the lights, paint markings, and things like that. CT Consulting, who does other engineering um, uh, work, work for us, is looking at that currently. Uh, we have an annual parking study underway for Court Street between uh, Mound and Pinckney. Uh, we, we had, uh, the, the mayor had, uh, had a town hall and other meetings about 
perhaps angle parking on the west side of Court Street uh, and uh, three lanes of traffic or other, other ways to uh, uh, provide for a safer passage of traffic, safer pedestrian traffic, perhaps more uh, parking spaces or a few more anyhow, and, and for other various considerations. Uh, I promised a, a study, and the study is underway, and that's being done by uh, um, structure point, structure point engineering in Columbus. Uh, Tellos Park, uh, we will soon go out for a bit. We're waiting for a permit to install a PTI from the Ohio EPA for some sewer lines there for the uh, phase two. The phase two is the uh, excavation and site preparation for the splash pad, the playground, a restroom with a uh, mechanical uh, section building for the uh, splash pad, walkways, and some uh, very uh, interesting landscaping. So uh, as soon as we get the PTI, we expect it at any time now. It's a little later than what we thought. Typically, we think 30 days, and it's been just over that. We'll go out for, for bid for that. What you'll see is a lot of earth moving, some, some uh, uh, fill brought in, uh, you know, earthscaping, uh, sewer and water, and uh, a, a location for the uh, proposed uh, restroom and uh, mechanical building. Then uh, to follow that will be uh, walkways and uh, lighting. The, the rest of the mechanical building, a splash pad, and uh, some, some playground equipment to serve the entire spectrum of our community. Uh, the park district, Larry Logan, is working on fundraising for some of the latter uh, installations, namely the splash pad and the uh, playground equipment, which is, uh, is quite expensive. Uh, Woodland Drive improvements will be out for bid very, very soon. Uh, they're not out for bid because I need a favorable recommendation tonight, and I think on the 17th when council meets, hopefully I'll get uh, the ordinance passed, and then I can move forward with, uh, with various bids. Water main improvement project approved last year uh, it is uh, it will also soon be out to bid. Uh, no, I'm sorry, let me, let me, let me. Darby Creek excavating was just uh, awarded that, so that did go out to bid already. Darby Creek will be doing that. It's a uh, water mains, uh, and it'll be tearing some pavement up too on Plaza Drive, East Main Street, Spring Hollow, and uh, Park Place. I mentioned Turner Drive. We have pending uh, development projects, including a uh, <coughs> sheets uh, on South Court Street, across the street from McDonald's, there by the east by the new connector. Uh, Progress Park Section Two. It's a cul-de-sac, an industrial or a commercial cul-de-sac, on the south side of uh, Circle Lane. Uh, right, it's an extension of South Court Street to a cul-de-sac with a 10-acre proposed uh, building lot, and we, we don't know who the tenant might be. But, uh, we have uh, five votes for economic development on that, on that site. Um, an application to rezone the Dutchess Court, the uh, BP station of Washington East Main Street. Uh, the uh, company plans an expansion, uh, realignment of the gas pumps, and, and, and demolition and reconstruction of the store. And uh, under the current zoning, that's not permitted. It was uh, previous zoning, but not under current zoning, so the uh, rezoning is in order. So uh, notifications went out, and uh, we'll be hearing that the planning was zoning initially at the uh, first April meeting, first first Wednesday in April. Heritage Ponds uh, just uh, brought in their final plat for 21 lots in North End Circleville, single family lots, and uh, we're currently updating a, a geographic information system for utilities, sewer, water, storm, uh, electrical traffic devices to help us uh, better locate because we just went live with OOPS last week. As you know, we were recommended by council to adopt it. It's, it's, it's the law. We, sh we could have and should have, but it uh, produces quite a bit of work for us. Um, but uh, it's a Ohio Utilities Protection Service. Call before you dig. And we're getting already in the 20 to 30, 30 something range of tickets every day. We have to review and in many cases go out, locate our utilities and mark them. So it's a kind of a, uh, it's an additional burden on our uh, Utilities maintenance crew because they know where the sewer and water is. Our street crew, uh, Dana, Dana and Chris, and, and those uh, on the uh, storm water and the electrical uh, connectors for uh, traffic signals. You know, someone's digging around that. But we're uh, managing. And we're looking at uh, uh, how to better uh, maintain a high quality of the oops locating uh, and still maintain our, our current workload, which is difficult right now. Twenty to thirty. Yeah, we're getting quite a few. I mean, we get people that want to remove a stump, okay? Uh, dig a stump out, have a stump, and they'll call loops just to make sure that the stump 
truck doesn't get into to the utility. It's usually easy for us to look at and say, well, we have no utilities there on a private property on the other side of the sidewalk, and we can discount that ticket. It's going to take it in without going out doing the site location. But in other cases, we have sewer and water and uh, storm water and a number of utilities that uh, are at risk if we don't go out and park them properly. And before, we would get calls directly from a contractor or an engineer, an architect, and we would do a locating. But since we weren't uh, a member of OOPS, we uh, didn't get many of those, uh, those requests for locating. So it's kind of protecting our interests of somebody taking something out of ours, isn't it? Absolutely, it is, yeah. That, that, uh, that's a very quick, brief summary of what we are doing. Uh, I'd be happy to answer 